Okay, so here we are for part B. Uh, I tried this just a minute ago and something went very wrong in the uh, spreadsheet. Not sure what, but uh, um, so I'm trying it again. Uh, here's random real. Uh, 1 to 10 is what it says here. And then I want to put in the equals 1 plus nine times a random number between 0 and 1, so that should give me a number between uh, 1 and 10. So now um, I, bring the, I bring that down to there, and there are 100 random numbers. Uh, here we type in bins. These are the for our frequency table, these are the numbers we're going to look between. And so I put in 1.5, uh, so that will tell me to look for all numbers less than 1.5. Um, then uh, 2.5, and I could keep typing that down, but if I highlight this and drag it down, you see it fills in for me, uh, saves me a little work. Now the 10.5 in the directions, I suggest you change it to a 10. Um, you could leave it as 10.5. doesn't really matter. It, the, only the 9.5 matters. The last number, we don't actually use it. And so here, we're going to type in uh, frequencies. Okay, so there are frequencies. And here is our tricky formula. So here is uh, what I do. I highlight that. See, so I I clicked in the middle, and I grabbed, and I, I just highlight down all the way to the bins. Now, I do suggest putting in some number here uh, just to help you know where to, to look for the last part of your bins. Um, then I type the formula, equals frequency. Now, I didn't click again. I just started typing. So there's equals frequency. Then you highlight your data. So here's my data. And I come down here, highlight all that. So there's my data, then a comma. Then I highlight all but the last bin. So see next to it, this goes down one below where I, I um, grabbed here. And that's because this last spot is for any numbers bigger than 9.5. Any numbers bigger than 9.5. Now we know they're no bigger than 10, but uh, that's the way this works. So I put in that closing parenthesis, this is ready. Now you cannot see me do this, but I'm holding down the control key and the shift key both at the same time. And keeping them held down, I hit the enter key. And that fills in my data. and. Um, now, we didn't stabilize anything, so for instance, if I put in a 3 and I just keep doing that, it keeps recalculating. Um, and I'll delete those. So we see the, you know, here 7, eh, that's as big as this number, but if you do it a bunch, you'll notice that the two ends tend to have a smaller number than the middle ones. Okay, but it's random. And so, um, there are our frequencies. So we have uh, gotten through that part. Uh, now, uh, so uh, that's essentially how we would get our histogram. Uh, to plot it, um, all I need to do is, uh, let's see, what did I say here? Okay, highlight C1 uh, to C11 and, and insert a, a bar chart. Okay, so um, in this case, I can do this just fine because the, the, I want the bins to be 1, 2, 3 to 10. Now, in general, um, with a bar chart, that's what it wants to do. You would need to work with it to do something if you didn't want the numbers to go uh, start at 1 and go by 1. Um, but so here on mine, I can insert a chart this way. So I insert a chart, a uh, column. Now, this says, I said bar chart in there, that's the 
typical name, but actually we want the column because if you look at the bar chart, they go sideways. Uh, I would like them to go like this. Okay, uh, so there's the chart type. Um, and uh, depending on your spreadsheet, you will need to possibly do some various things to it. Um, now I can go down here to chart elements and add a title. It, it I think, asks us to add the title histogram. Now you can add uh, chart elements after you're done, but uh, there I added the histogram. Um, I don't know that I really need that legend, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so this is a bar chart. The, the pieces are not touching. Okay, to get a histogram, because we do have numbers between uh, one and, and two and so forth, um, what you can usually do is uh, something along the lines of a right click, and there are various things you can do with that, and I'm going to do format data series. And um, see here it says uh, uh, missing values leave gap. I don't think that's what I want. Uh, area, there's just a color. Uh, transparency, no, that's not what I want. Um, and uh, let's see, line properties. See, I don't do this real often, so I don't remember uh, exactly. Let's see, width. Transparency, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I might have to come back on this and, uh, oh, here we go. Settings, spacing, 100%, overlap, 0%. Um, I don't remember if this is what does it, but I can, I can try changing some of these things. So there's overlap. Uh, I'm increasing that, and if I say OK, eh, I didn't notice anything different. Um, I come in here and spacing. Uh, what if I take that down to 0% and overlap was at 0, so I'll leave that at 0% and say OK. Ah, that's what it was. See, so I don't, you know, I don't remember these things either. I just have to play with them a bit to uh, see if I can find them. So there's a histogram. Now, this isn't quite accurate because it goes in uh, less than 1 and greater than 10. Um, I don't know if it's that easy to fix this in Excel. So um, I'm happy with this given that it's Excel and there's only so much you can do. All right, so um, that was uh, a histogram. And uh, I'm going to kind of move this down here. Uh, now, so then it says uh, bar chart. Well, if we generated these random numbers a little bit differently, and so this says random real between 1 and 10, uh, where does this say to go? It says to go to G. Uh, and type in random uh, integer uh, 1 to 10. Okay, so I have that. And um, it wants the other things the same, the bins and frequencies. Uh, but now the way we fill this in is we use this command ran between. Uh, R-A-N-D-B-E-T-W-E-E-N, uh, ran between uh, 1 and 10, 1 comma 10. And what this does is it gives us a random integer between 1 and 10. And I can take this down, uh, that same distance, to uh, 101. And uh, there are 100 random numbers. Now, what's nice is uh, copying in Excel. If I highlight all of that and do a copy and come over here and do a paste, um, it automatically looks at the right stuff. So see if I look at this uh, cell here, it's looking at G2 to G101. So um, I that quickly I have all the frequencies uh, for 
uh, this set. But notice this time, uh, when you look at these now, again, eh, it's random. But if, if you do it a few times, now I'll just kind of uh, do, oh, okay. Well, that's, um, hmm, I don't think I expected that. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't expect that. But Rand between looks like it does not update when you recalculate uh, as I'm doing uh, the way um, Rand does. Okay, so this is just one set of random numbers. That's fine. Uh, we can look at maybe how we uh, would um, do, you know, redo this many times to kind of get an idea of what's going on. But uh, for our plot, we really only need uh, the one set. And in this case, um, it just says uh, to make that plot, uh, we still make a, a bar chart or a column plot in, in the case of this this particular um, uh, spreadsheet. Uh, but this time I don't need to because it is a bar chart. These are integer items and they don't uh, have values in between the integers. So you know they're either one, two, three, four, up to ten. So they are only those values. Then if when I go ahead and if I insert again, um, you know, so I'd probably want to do the same thing like that, uh, highlight those, uh, insert uh, a chart, and once again I do want a column. Um, I could go to chart elements, put in a title, and the title here is bar chart. And I'll just say finish, and there's my bar chart. Um, but this makes sense because I cannot have numbers between 5 and 6. They're only the numbers 5 or 6 and, and so forth. So here I have a bar chart and I think that is everything we're supposed to do. So I'll call that good.